Good morning, good morning. Welcome to our CTC Sunday. Let's begin with our word. Father, we want to thank you so much for this morning, for gathering us here and just reminding us that indeed you are God. Thank you for giving us this gift, the gift of life. We are not so better than those who have gone ahead of us, but because you love us and you still have something that you want us to accomplish, we are here so that we may continue to worship you. As we begin this service, we want to put everything before you that, Lord God, each and every one of us who is tuning to this service will not live the same. We thank you. May you use us as vessels of honor. In Jesus' name I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Welcome, children. Today is different. You could be wondering what is happening. Today is not just the CTC Sunday. It is the Africa Children's Day of Prayer. Mm. We've been going through the 30 days of prayer in the month of September. Some churches had their prayer day yesterday, Saturday. But for us, we chose to have our day today, Sunday the 2nd. What is Africa Children's Day of Prayer? This is a prayer day that was started in Nairobi, Kenya in the year 2006 by six churches. And All Saints Cathedral is one of the founding churches. We came up together to rally children to pray so that we can make prayer a lifestyle. And before we do anything, we always have a, a, a theme verse. This year, we were praying for our countries. Even if you're not from Kenya, we have come from a country. And today, we are just going to pray and give thanks for this far the Lord has brought us. We want to start by giving thanks to God. In Kenya, we were praying for many things, especially for the elections. And God gave us peaceful elections. We have life. We have health. If you were to count your blessings, you cannot finish them. There are so many. And I just want you to tell God thank you wherever you are. And I'll read for you a portion of scripture from Psalm 136, verse 1 to 4. And your response will be, his love endures forever. Mm. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His, his love, love endures, endures forever. forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His, his love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of Lords. His love endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders. His love endures forever. You can read that portion of scripture. I just went up to verse 4. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we want to say thank you. Thank you for the many blessings. We've been praying for our country, Kenya. And Lord, we have seen your faithfulness. Mm. The country is peaceful. We were able to elect leaders. You guided us. We don't take it for granted that we have peace. There are many countries in the world where there is no peace. Apart from blessing our nation, dear Lord, you've blessed us at home. We have food on the table, close to where? A place to call home and a family. You've blessed us in schools. You have blessed us. We have good health. Thank you for the opportunity of coming to your house today. If we were to count all our blessings, there are so many. Receive our thanks today. We just want to say thank you, Father, for your faithfulness. For we give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thy fingers here, thy fingers there, put them together for a prayer. Five fingers here and five fingers. 
continue in prayer. And right now we want to pray uh, the prayer of repentance for our nation. But before I do that, allow me to read Romans 3 and verse 23. The Bible says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. This portion of scripture reminds us that we all need forgiveness. It doesn't matter what you've done, but there is a, a realization from reading of the scripture that none of us can say that they have not sinned. And so at this particular time, I want to tell the children out there that sin is anything that we do, anything that we hear, anything that we see that do not please God. And sometimes when we do these things, God is not happy with us and so many bad things happen to us and interfere with our normal living. And so I want us to pray. If you are there wherever you are, you can kneel. You can cry out to God as I make this prayer because there are so many things that we, are done, we have done and some of the things that we have done, bad things that we have done in this nation relate to things like corruption, injustices, historical injustices, greed and selfishness, neglecting the poor, violence, murder, just to mention but a few. So I want us to remember individually the things that we have done that we know are sin to God. Let's pray. Father, we want to come before you as a nation. We are crying deep down in our hearts. And because you've reminded us in your scripture that none of us can stand and say that they have not sinned. And so all of us need this forgiveness, oh God. You also say in your word, that if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But we, if we confess our sins in repentance and trust, you are faithful and just and you'll forgive us our sins. We want to stand upon your word and we want to pray and claim each and every person in this nation that Lord God, you will listen to our hearts and you'll cleanse us with your precious blood that we may be set aside to look at our brothers and our sisters we've, we've wronged with love and care. And so, Lord, revive us, revitalize us, rejuvenate us. In Jesus' name I pray and believe. Blessings are promises that God gives us mm. as his loved, beloved children. Mm. When we are obedient to God, he, ble he mentions blessings upon our lives. Blessings like for this, for example, in this verse, you are seeing blessings of riches, 
blessings of ruling over other nations in our lives as, as children god can bless blessings of being prosperous being su- successful mm. in our nation god can bless blessings over our land for our land to be to be fruitful he can bless blessings over our leaders for our leaders to be wise in their decisions god can bless blessings in many areas and even in line with that um i would also just like us to pray in line with the church the church has a big role to play when it comes to the blessings of the nation when churches come together and speak one voice to the lord and say that we need to have a blessing in this nation the bible says that how good and pleasant it is when brothers and sisters live in unison For where there is unity the lord commands a blessing mm. so we pray that god will help us to unite as a body of christ as the church and even as a nation that with that he will speak a blessing in our nation let us pray father we thank you because of this moments that we are here today and we thank you lord because you have promised us blessings god you have promised that how good it is that when we are living together lord it is good as pleasing and father you command a blessing father we pray for unity not only of churches but of this nation lord of the leaders and we pray that you may bless this nation bless our land dear lord help our land to be more fruitful we pray that lord you'll make our land as nation on uh, uh, the land of kenya to be rich we pray that you will bless our leaders with wisdom we pray lord for our economy that lord even when things are tough lord your blessings will make them to to be easy on us god we pray that you may bless us lord bless our nation bless us even in our families bless us even in our church bless our leaders lord in the name of jesus i pray and believe amen, amen. children it's a wonderful time that we want to even continue praying for our nation and we'll pray for the education sector and also the family unit we know that the education sector is a very important area of our nation that because it secures the future of this nation and also the family is one of the basic units and it it is where all morals are when instilled well our country will prosper and i will read from the book of proverbs chapter number 2 and verse 6 it says from the lord for the lord gives wisdom from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding this day i want to commit every student uh or in all the country wherever they are into the able hands of God and uh, and also pray for the education sector as a whole and we'll remember also to pray for our families 
wherever they are. Uh, let us believe as we pray. Father Almighty, how wonderful is your name. This day we come to you, O God, with our burdens at your cross, O God, that we may lay them unto you. O God, this day we come before you, dedicating each and every student, O God, in every part of this nation, in every school, be it primary school level, or the secondary school, or the tertiary school, O God. We ask you, O God, to be with them. May you provide knowledge, because you, O God, who existed before time, you are the creator of knowledge, and you say in your word that if we seek you, O God, you will give us knowledge. This day we commit the ministry of education unto your hands, O God, that whatever, in all the ways that they guide us, may they be of you, and may you, may you continue blessing us through them. O God, this day, O God, we remember the, the students and the pupils who are going to sit for their KCSE exams, KCPE exams, and the and the CBC examinations. Oh God, we ask you to provide unto them. Oh God, where they lack in materials, in school fees, oh God, may you be their provider. May you climb every mountain with them and may they see your light. Oh God, we pray that when they, they are going to sit for their examination, you, oh God, shall be their peace. You, oh God, shall be their guide. You shall give them the spirit of remembrance and you shall remove all anxiety and pressure. O oh God, even for the results, O oh God, we trust in you that they will reflect the true nature of you, O oh God. We thank you this day for the unit of the family. It is the basic unit, and you, O oh God, you created the family. This day we come back to you, O oh God, asking you to cover us by your blood, uh, O oh God, and we remove every sicknesses, every unhealthy relationships, O oh God, that are within our families, O oh God. We ask you to be our provider because without you, we cannot make it. And it is in Jesus' name we pray, trusting and believing. Amen. Amen. Lord, we lift up your name. Lord, we lift up your name. to continue praying and we'll be praying for our economy, we'll be praying for our businesses and we'll be praying for uh, the business people and we'll also be praying for the young people who are jobless and they're looking for jobs Yeah, that God will really help us and as a nation that will find more jobs yeah, and also we'll be praying for agriculture yeah, for food and supply. And with that regard, God has promised us in Deuteronomy 28, 11 and 12. And maybe I can just read it for us. It says, that, And the Lord shall make you plenteous in goods, in the fruit of your body, and in the fruit of your cattle, and in the fruit of your ground, in the land which the Lord swore unto the fathers to give you. The Lord shall open unto you his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto the land in his season and to bless all the works of your hands. And you shall lend unto many nations and you shall not borrow. Yeah, so I uh, want us to believe and pray even as we trust in God for these things. Our Lord, we are grateful. We say thank you for your word that the Lord speaks unto us. Speaking of the blessings that Lord, you will grant us, Lord, that if we are willing and obedient, Lord, and so we want to surrender to you and pray that mighty Father, will you remember us as a land uh, to bless our land, bless almighty Father God, 
everything we do, Lord. We say that we will lend unto the nations and will not borrow. We pray that, Father God, abundance shall be our portion as a land in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, for our businesses that are there that are running the economy, Lord, from large businesses, O oh Lord, to small businesses. The Lord God, we know that all these are a part of the greatest economy, mighty Father, that you're experiencing in this land. And we pray for them. The Father, you make them grow. You will increase them in the name of Jesus Christ because your word tells us that you're the one who gives us power, Lord, to make wealth. And we look on to you for helping in the name of Jesus. We ask everlasting, Father, even concerning jobs, O oh Lord, we know that there are many young people outside there, Lord, who are jobless for one reason or the other, Lord, they are uh, wondering where jobs will come from, Lord. We pray that, Father, Lord, you will help us as a nation, that you will give us creative ideas, Lord, that jobs shall come in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. We pray that wisdom shall come from above to help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray that, mighty Father, even our agricultural sector, Lord, that you will remember us, you will cause rain to fall, the Bible says, that upon your land that will cause rain to fall in the name of Jesus Christ, that the fruit of the land, Lord, shall be blessed of you. We pray that this blessing, so God, may abound towards us as a people. As we surrender to you, we trust in you that God, your help, O oh Lord, comes in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, and we bless you because there is none like you. In the name of Jesus, we pray trusting and believing. Amen. Amen. We worship you, we worship you, Jesus. We worship you, we worship you, we worship you, Jesus. Uh, yes, children, we are uh, continuing to pray. And we want to thank God for all the people who work in the science and medicine sector, the doctors, the nurses, all the surgeons, uh, researchers and scientists, that for researchers and scientists that the Lord will give them ideas, creative ideas to bring more technology, more helpful technology that will help us in our country and that we pray we will also pray for our doctors and our nurses that they have patience and humility and integrity when dealing with um, all the sick people in the hospitals and that even as they treat us that they will also believe and depend that the Lord will heal us yes they treat us but the Lord heals and in that regard we will read from Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. And it says, But I will restore your, you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. And this just reminds me that even as we go to hospitals, that the doctors heal, not treat and make us comfortable, and the Lord heals us. Let's pray. Father, once again, we are back in your presence just to say we thank you that you have given us people in science and medicine, Jehovah God, that can help us in our lives. We thank you that you have given us doctors and nurses and surgeons. Oh, my Father, my God, we give you all glory. We thank you for researchers and scientists, oh Lord, that you have given ideas to help us move our country forward in terms of technology and innovation, oh God. We are grateful, Jesus. We pray for more wisdom, Jehovah, that you give them more wisdom to come up with more innovative ideas, more creative ideas, oh God, that they will come up with even better, huger technology to give revenue to our country. We pray for our doctors and our nurses and the surgeons and every individual that works in a hospital. Oh God, in any health center, health facility, oh God, we pray, oh God, that you may give them patience, humility, integrity when working and dealing with patients in hospitals. Lord, it is not easy Lord, sometimes it is not easy, but the Jehovah God, we pray that you may give them patience and just humility and integrity when dealing with patience, oh God, that also they may depend on you, that they may know that 
their work is to treat us and make us comfortable but it is you O oh lord who say in your word that you will heal our wounds that you will restore us to health and we give you all glory because you say in your word by your stripes we are healed and we thank you O oh god that you never fail to heal us you are jehovah rafa our healer and we say we are grateful for that jehovah god may you continue helping us and giving us more doctors and nurses and surgeons in our country that we may not go outside our country for treatment that you may give us more doctors nurses surgeons give them more wisdom oh god and knowledge that they may know what to do what and how to do it in jesus name we do pray and give thanks amen, amen. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. We continue praying for politics and uh, for our politics and governance, we chose leaders. We have leaders right from the sub-chief to the chief. To the ones we chose, the governors, the senators, members of parliament, the deputy vice president, the deputy president, the president himself. All of these leaders, even our own parents are leaders in our homes, the prefects in your school, that they can lead us in a way that is acceptable before God and that they can help us live in peace and love and unity. I'll read a portion from scripture from the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 1 and 2. I urge then, first of all, that requests, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for everyone, for kings and for all in authority, that they may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. It's a command that God wants all leaders, those in authority, to be peaceful. We pray that our leaders will lead us in peace. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for all the leaders in our lives, our parents, all the leaders you've given us of our lives, even the political leaders. We pray, dear Lord, that you'll help us to obey them. And Father, as we obey them, we pray that they first will obey you and lead us in ways that are acceptable before your sight, O Lord, so that the people of Kenya can continue living in peace, love, and unity. Help all our leaders, from the sub-chief to the chief, the governors, anyone in leadership, the managers, the directors, right from the smallest to the president, May they lead you. May they follow you as they lead us so that we can all live in godliness and in peace. Bless our leaders. Bless the people of Kenya. And bless Kenya. In Christ Jesus, we ask and give thanks. Amen. In the same breath, we want to remember our brothers and sisters who are in the arts industry and the media industry. It is such a wonderful space of creative men and women. And for very many years in this country, we've had this industry, these two industries uh, suffering from one reason or the other. And we want to remember that as a nation, we'll grow these industries and make sure that each and every one of us that is in this, uh, from musicians to artists to rappers to songwriters, to dancers, to videographers, to photographers, to bloggers, to uh, reporters, all these people who are in the creative industry will grow their art to better this country. And this country will recognize each and every one of them so that they are able to sustain their livelihood. We want to also remember that our God is the father of creativity and he demonstrated that when he created the world and he put everything in it. And our reminder should always be that everything on earth belongs to him. 
we can believe and pray. Before the Lord, we want to honor you. We want to respect the fact that we have an industry of creativity in the name of arts industry and media industry. And so these two industries are so concerned with information that affect our lives in different forms. Some in writing, some in audio that has been recorded in terms of music, some in pictures that have been drawn, some in symbolic designs that have been created. That's so that we may feel that we have people who have ideas and notions that can be put into mood and feeling that our lives may be sustained and we enjoy all these gifts together. We want to remember each and every one of them that Lord God, even as we use these gifts that you have given us, Lord, you'll remember to sustain their lives. That these gifts that you've given them may also affect and influence this country for the better. And that the leaders who are in these spaces may not take advantage of this creative um, women and men. And so we commit each and every one of them that, Lord God, you may prosper them. We worship you, we bless you, and we pray that you may continue to lift us together as a nation. We worship you in Jesus' name, I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Uh, as we continue in the prayers, we want to pray for Russia and Ukraine as we know. There has been war going on, but Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Wherever Jesus appears, mm. peace must appear. Mm. Yes, uh, there is a part in the book of Luke where the Bible says when Jesus was being, uh, was in the presence of Pilate, for the first time Pilate and Herod, they became friends and they were enemies all along. So wherever Jesus appears, mm. war disappears. Amen. Amen. So that is what we want to declare. Mm. That the presence of Christ will command peace in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the Prince of Peace. There is nowhere that you can step on and live war, oh God. I we pray that you may stretch your mighty hand, Lord. Intervene in the war of Ukraine and Russia. I we pray, God, that you may command peace, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray today that, Lord, enough of the bloodshed, enough of it, Lord, we ask that, Lord, you may speak peace in the war, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we honor you because you are good. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. 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 And also we shall, play, we shall continue praying for the countries in the Middle East, Yemen, Af Afghanistan, and Iraq. Let us pray. Father Almighty, you are wonderful. There is no one to be compared unto you. You rule over the heavens and the earth. And this day, we come before you, O God, asking for your peace to prevail over the conflicted countries of the Middle East, O God. O God, Yemen, Afghanistan, and Iraq have constant civil wars among their people. O God, may you send your word to them and may you heal their land. O oh God, we know that you are the provider. May you provide even unto the missionaries who are spreading your word in those regions, O oh God. May you continue giving them strength and hope that one day men and citizens of the Middle East, O oh God, will come to know you. And as they know you, they will embrace the peace that comes with you, O oh God. We thank you and we bless your name. May you continue moving and move greatly. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. We, want, we want to continue praying and we'll be praying for Europe and America. 
even as we thank God for what he's doing here in Kenya and what he's doing for our life, we want just to remember them. We know that God is gracious and he's merciful. We want to trust him for a revival in those nations. Yeah, uh, that God will remember them and bring revival in those nations. So we can believe and pray. Our Lord, we say thank you. We bless your name. We are grateful for all you do, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We know that, mighty Father, it's by your hand, O oh God, that we as a nation, we have come this far, Lord, to know you and to acknowledge you as the Lord, our maker. And we want to pray the mighty Father, even for uh, Europe, for America, Lord. We pray for them, that Lord, those lands, O oh King of all glory, they may get to experience you afresh in the name of Jesus want to pray that mighty God any kind of coldness or any kind Lord of feelings that make them feel Lord that they know Lord we pray that they may be taken away in the name of Jesus Christ we pray that mighty Father they will obtain mercy with you in the name of Jesus that they will not be hardened in their heart Lord in the name of Jesus because you are the Lord that saves we pray that may your salvation come unto men in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you Lord because you are merciful Bible says that if my people were called by my name will humble themselves and pray that you hear from heaven and you will heal the land. So we pray for this land, the mighty Father, Lord, there will be a turning around of hearts, Lord, back to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, because you are merciful. In the name of Jesus Christ, as you have promised, we know that it's true, God, that in that day whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And Father, we pray the mighty God, they will call on your name, they will believe in you even in these seasons, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for salvation shall come, O oh God, from you. We thank and we bless you because you are faithful and good. In the name of Jesus, we pray, trusting and believing. Amen. Uh, we continue to pray, and today being the day of prayer for Africa, we pray for Africa, that we may remember who we are in Christ, who we are in God, that we are God's children and that he loves us endlessly. His love is limitless. Amen. Uh, let's believe and pray. Father, once again, we are back and we thank you that you never grow weary of hearing our prayers, that you're not never tired of hearing our prayers. And, oh, Lord, we give you glory for our continent, Africa, we thank you for the 50 plus countries in Africa, oh God. We thank you for North Africa and Central Africa, West Africa, East Africa, and the countries found in the southern part of Africa. We say we are grateful, oh God. May you remind us who we are in you. May we find our position in you. May we find ourselves strengthened in you. May we remember that we are your children and that you love us. May we remember what you have done for us, what you have kept doing for us over the years, and that we may come back to you and say we are grateful that we are your children and that your love has been amazing over us, that you have been good to us, that you have just covered us with your blood and your goodness and your faithfulness, oh God. May we remember that we are your children and that you love us and your love is endless and amazing and limitless, oh God. This is our prayer for Africa, oh God. May you remember us, oh God, that we are your children and we are grateful. In Jesus' name we give thanks. Amen. 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 I have no other God but you If you join us in the physical church after this, we'll continue praying. There is so much to pray about and to be thankful about. And we also have a memory verse today, yes. which is on page two of our liturgy. Yes. 
And today, children will say the memory verse together. It is from the book of Psalm 33 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. Together. Happy, Happy is, is the nation, nation whose God is the Lord. Lord. Happy are the people he has, he has chosen, chosen for his own. own. Psalm 33 and verse 12. Uncle Tuk Tuk, <laughs> we still need to give to wow. take offertory as a way of telling God thank you yeah. for the opportunity of just pouring out our hearts. We've yeah. we've been going through prayer in the month of September. We've seen people pray, people who poured out their hearts like Hannah didn't, didn't even know what to say, mm. and God was faithful. Our prayer is that God is faithful. He's heard our prayer, mm. and we we'll continue hearing our prayer and answering. Mm. So, in response to His word. Uh, children, we are going to give uh, what we call Jesus money. So you can talk to your dad, your mom, your big sister, your big brother, your cousin, and your guardian. Whoever is at home who is able to use the phone to send uh, the offertory to 303035. Today is CTC Sunday. Mm -hmm. So uh, the account is S Sunday School or CTC. Yes. The pay bill. Pay bill is 30, yes. 30, 35, but the account? Sunday school. Sunday school. Yes. So do not forget about that. Yes. Let's just thank God for the money and the resources that you're sending. Thank you, Jesus, for your people. You have taught us through prayer, and we've heard the scriptures that have been flowing even as we are making prayer items. Right now, in response, your people are giving what you've given them back to you, and that, Lord, this may be used for the extension of your kingdom and also that we may continue ministering this word in this medium and any other platforms out there. We worship you. May you bless their giving. Even those who are not able to give, Lord, we pray that we may give them something to give next time and that, Lord God, we may grow this church together. We bless you. We worship you. For it is in Jesus' name I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Wow, we've come to the very end of our lesson today. Today we just wanted to pray. Hmm. And if you did not make it to go to a physical church yesterday, on Saturday, for those in Nairobi, you are welcome to us in Cathedral today in our physical services at 8, 9.30 and 11.30. Mm. We shall still continue with prayer. Today is our day of prayer. And those outside Kenya, outside Africa, you all also have countries. Pray for your countries and their needs wherever mm. you are because there are needs in every continent, in every country, in every village, in every home. Mm. Let us continue praying and make prayer a, life, a lifestyle. God bless you. See you next Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can we just say the grace, then we do our last song? Yes. Let's just say the grace. Together. The grace, grace of, our, of Lord our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ and, and the, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with, with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 To you, Noel. Final say, Jehovah has a final say, Jehovah turns.